everyone welcome back and thank you for being here or welcome to my channel thank you for being here for tuning in i'm valencia with val 333 tarot and with spirit and we're just gonna jump right in here first before we get to the tarot here all right and uh before we get to that we're just gonna start with prayers here okay opening prayers and then after the tarot we'll close out as well all right so um, for the prayers here, um, by the way, for any of these prayers, you're more than welcome to go ahead and, you know, take them and use them, especially um, the ones that I created. Um, you're more than welcome to do whatever you'd like with them. Um, I don't, you know, you don't, no credit. I don't want any credit, especially for the humanity prayer. Um, I don't want any credit for that. I just do ask that you give credit to God, Jesus, and the celestials for that because it was a channeled prayer okay um so yeah thank you okay so we'll get started here uh, we're going to do the lord's prayer for protection from evil and mean-spirited people energies and entities then the humanity prayer for all of us humans collectively for awareness light work and to raise the vibration on this planet and a prayer uh, to the viewers who are newer returning subscribers for love light support guidance protection and healing and then we'll close that at the end after the tarot for a closing prayer for good energy, comfort, and feel good vibes, peace, love, and community. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, get started here with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. All right, our humanity prayer for all of us humans collectively. Dear God, Source Jesus, the Creator and the all higher celestial beings that are of good, love, light, healing, guidance, support, and protection, please help all of us humans to collectively want to heal ourselves individually and truly want to focus on ourselves to become a better, higher version of who we are meant to be. Help us to not get caught up in negatively false distractions by the media, electronics, new technology, AI, and negatively pushed worldly agendas. Help us to stop trying to escape our feelings through TV, social media, trying to prove oneself through pride or through a false image, drugs, alcohol, addictions, sex, and lust, or by taking our own lives through despair. Help us to stop trying to escape ourselves and necessary harsh life lessons for quick false instant gratification that never lasts. Help us to slow down and become more in the present moment in this world where it's negatively and subliminally forced and pushed to hurry up and to keep going with speed by competing with others. Help us to stop expecting others to save us, change us, give us a free handout or to heal us when we know only we can do that and make us surrender to our own deep feelings and intuition, even if it hurts. Help us to realize if we don't start to collectively change now, Mother Earth will give up on us and we will sadly feel see and experience the wrath of God and Jesus through horrific natural disasters. Help us to realize if we all treated ourselves and each other with patience, love, kindness, along with putting our perspective in each other's shoes, with unconditional love, mercy, and forgiveness with those whom we like and agree with and with those we do not like and disagree with, that it would bring us all closer as a human species and bring us one step closer to the heaven on earth utopia that could be possible again in this lifetime. Help us to want to get to a world where we don't judge one another so quickly or project our negative insecurities onto others out of self-hatred and fear. Help us to want to get to a world where we don't judge one another over skin color, genetics, culture, race, gender, sexuality, status, fame, fortune, or material items and image, where we don't favor one gender over the other we don't hate one race or class over the other because we all have been one another through past lives. Help us to get to a point where everyone isn't wanting praise for acting negative or a certain way on purpose because it's trending or wanting to wanting praise for false work that isn't theirs or a false messiah or prophet narcissistic complex over greed, money, politics, and brainwashing. Help us to not physically or emotionally hurt one another for financial and material gain. Help us to become aware consciously as a whole species and to become collectively aware individually within ourselves and in our own homes, neighborhood, and communities. 
Help us to want to truly heal ourselves individually because we truly want to personally and not to just look like a good pers perfect person to others. Help us to realize and teach us to respect one another even if we don't agree with one another for we are all the same person that we all come from the same source and we are split into billions of different versions of God to have us live this beautiful human experience so we can collectively love one another and want to help one another without expecting anything in return. Help us to see that all animals wild and domesticated are the same as us just because they can't talk doesn't mean we treat them any lesser. Help us to end animal abuse, child abuse, elderly abuse, and most importantly, human abuse in general, such as gang fighting, domestic violence, and everything else included. Help us to realize we are all in here for a bigger reason on this planet and mission, and to see everything as equal and alive, to see trees, water, sand, plants, rocks, bugs, and minerals as living and breathing entities and positive loving energies that help to keep us alive. Help us to become more grateful in life and less fear-based with the lack mentality. Send us your telepathic signals of loving influence to help us to want to individually and collectively treat each other as the one big family we truly are. So we can end the dying, the wars, the killings, the shootings, the poverty, the stealing, the mental self-imprisonment, the bullying, the inner and outer hatred, the jealousy, the gluttony, the laziness, the evil that lurks around, the addictive unhealthy behaviors, the unnecessary toxic karma that keeps us in a cycle of hell. Help us to finally face all our trauma because if we don't, we set ourselves back painfully and enter hellish behaviors and lifestyles that are of no good. Help us to realize the devil only exists because we let him exist through blaming his influence instead of realizing we are responsible for our own actions, thoughts, and words. Make us start to face judgment, judgment day and take self-accountability and responsibility for ourselves to truly be humbled for we are so small compared to you, God. Help us to love ourselves so much that it only hurts during the process because we realize that how we have been living on this planet has been horribly wrong and not a true path. Help us create a chance for our lives and for the future generations to come. Help us to think for ourselves and to get rid of ignorance, to face our depression, to finally face the pain we avoid to feel every day and to peacefully learn from it. Help us to actually align our inner child, our inner chakras, to break generational curses and become more balanced. Help us to have the heart of Jesus like he did for us when he knew we would destroy everything and yet he still loves us and forgives us unconditionally. Help us to start taking our life more seriously and learn to respect and believe in faith, God, source, the creator, the all celestial beings of love and light, the universe, the planet earth, the galaxy and Jesus Christ himself. We ask you to help us with this, please, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so prayer for new returning subscribers or viewers for love, light, protection, and healing and guidance. Dear God, source, the creator, and the all celestial beings that are of good, love, light, healing, and protection, may you please surround each human being who comes across this video and this channel with a protective force field layer of white light to guide and protect them now and after this video. May they feel well and begin to heal themselves and sleep well and gain a sense of love and inner peace within them. May they no longer feel fear and see through it for it is only an illusion. Let them know they are truly powerful on their own and that they are not alone. Any negative entity or energies or people trying to hurt them, may you banish them back to the foot of the cross and remove them from these innocent people and their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, and now time for tarot. Thank you. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel, and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit, and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you today here, Gemini. Um, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. Thank you.
Okay, Gemini, so you're in a slow and steady kind of a process and energy here and a mindset. You could be um, trying to slowly approach someone or something, or it's just kind of like day-to-day -day life stuff. Things might feel a little slow, but more so like working and, but it's also like willing to put in like the effort and the hard work to create something here. And you knowing it's going to be like a long-term kind of a journey in a sense here with whatever that may be, especially if it's like financially. Oh yeah. Okay. So you were waiting in a sense, slow and steady wins the race uh, by just starting this new journey, jumping through, jumping in and just kind of going with it, whatever that may be here, taking that leap of faith to go and do something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever this is too, it causes a lot of like emotional love and commitment. This could be towards a person, but it also, I see that it's causing you to feel like some sort of like, emo like I said, like, um, well, a nurturing, loving connection of some sort with yourself. Like you could just feel really good about you and or it's also um, you feeling emotionally committed, you know, to a person possibly. It's like either or. Oh, hold on, got a jumping card here, trying to flip around. Ah, and that put you through a very crucial awakening here. Something that might be kind of painful and shocking for you, honestly. It's um, it's revealing, so it could be about a person or about, you know, your own discovery with something here. But it's definitely kind of put everything at a halt, like the screeches of a tire when you're about to put the brakes on, kind of an energy here. Something just happened like, Urch! hold on. But yourself, maybe about others around you, maybe having to let go and end something but that you may not want to have to accept it, that it's ending or it's over or something here. I don't know. Ooh, Gemini. Okay, we're going to get a little spicy today. A little spicy hot tamale today. Okay. So you're going to, um, okay, yeah, well, it is frustrating. It's a headache I see now, and it's causing, unfortunately, Gemini, you're ready to just start flapping those gums um, in a negative way. You're not happy. So I don't, but the thing is, it makes sense if you were like arguing, like you were in an argument with someone, like both of you, like you and someone, you know what I mean? Like something happened, unfortunately, and it caused like an argument between the two of you or you and others, but it is an energy where it's kind of frustrating and aggressive and feisty because something is done. It's like maybe someone slammed the door shut or you did either, or I don't know, something life has is like showing you like something is over with in a sense. You're not really taking it too lightly, okay? Um, you're wanting to battle <laughs> in a sense here. So I don't know what's going on here today. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, the good news is that you decide to just kind of keep to yourself and go in solitude and just be like, you know what, let me just be alone for a while. Let me disconnect from everyone and maybe try and gain some wisdom here and figure out what to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, there are some changes happening. I don't know if they, if you perceive them as positive or negative, but life is causing some shifts and changes here. You are meant to be going through this, I will say that. So it's destined to be, whether it's negative or positive, you are meant to be going through this, okay, Gemini? Oh, Gemini, I'm gonna say you're not handling it well, so it's maybe karma, unfortunately, coming up to the surface and saying hello to you, not in a nice way. Um, only because now you're like, what in the hell do I do now? You know, like, what do you mean? Like, it's just blocked confusion. Like, nothing's going on, you see, um, unfortunately. It's like, uh, yeah, you're just in that energy of still confused, but not really because you just don't, you want your way one way. And life's like, no, 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 that's not an option. And you're like, well, I don't want to go that way. And it's like, that's the only way you need to go, Gemini. And you're having problems with that. I understand. That's what I have you for today here. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank you so much for being here and for tuning in. I do hope that this reading helped you. And we're just going to go ahead and start with our closing out prayer for feel good, comfort, good vibes, peace, love, and community. Okay. Thank you. 
Dear God, we thank you for your presence with us today. As we depart from this space now, we ask you to bless us throughout the remainder of the day and guide us safely home. May we have the means to eat food, find shelter, get the resources to help ourselves, to have a roof over our heads, to drink clean water, to be able to shower and clean ourselves, to feel loved and not alone, to feel gratitude that we are alive and woke up today, to have enough money and tools to help us provide for ourselves with, it, with the basic needs of life. Do not let the learning and conversations of this gathering die, but instead may they continue to ruminate within us and bear fruit in our daily journey of life throughout the year. Until we find ourselves together again, we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Thank you. Bye.